bakas nyo? Eh, kanun mo yung maglaro? Okay lang naman, no? Basta pogi. Eh, ikaw. Okay na ka ba? Problema ba tayo? Ah, ah. I like you. This will work. I already like it. What? No! Who is she? Is she better than me? Is she prettier? Please. Please, uh, don't say that, okay? Come here. No!
nakakagalaw. Hindi mo pera at sila sa akin. Oh. Oh, wala po akong pera. Ika na magsinungaling. Wala nga po akong pera. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm okay. It's been a while since I last talked about this. We're so sorry to hear that. That's why I'm this. It's okay. It's been 17 years. But that way, all things as is all said are just like that. And the sickening part is, after all these years, seeking for justice, I still haven't found the one who's responsible for taking this step. So that's why you studied law, huh? Yes. I wanted to find the culprit. I wanted to make him suffer and beg for my mercy. I wanted him to feel the pain ten times more than what this Sebastian felt that day. Those were the nights when I decided to become a murderer, but I know Sebastian would be happy if I did. So I took law and take others into my own hands. Now I understand why you became a human rights lawyer. Not only because you have the capabilities to do so, but also the heart and courage to be one. Yeah, another reason why I came here today is to spread awareness to everyone. I am not saying this for fame and recognition, but I am saying this to open everyone's heart and mind about what's happening right now. Young or old, rich or poor, girl or boy, less than your kid. We have all the rights to be treated equal. We have all the rights to do things that make us happy, but we don't have the rights to hinder someone's happiness because they are different or because of their sexuality. Everyone is capable of loving someone, even animals know something. There's nothing wrong about loving someone who have the same sex as you are. It is not a crime nor a punishable offense. Nothing's written in the book of law that forbids us to love whom our heart desires. So people, open your eyes and mind. If you can't support them, just leave them alone and don't bother them. When will you realize that being an LGBTQ member is okay and will always be okay? We are fighting for gender equality. We are fighting for everyone's rights. But where is the quality in that? You all don't need to call out or be educated to know better because it is basic human decency to not point out someone's physical identity and attributes or to make such jokes about it, especially in the public. If you don't have anything nice to say, then just shut up. We don't need your stupid remarks about this matter. And to those couples who are still afraid of coming up, because they are afraid to be judged or criticized, just remember this. Fear will only hinder the true meaning of happiness. I actually learned what the interview today would be a great example for the new generation to be open-minded in any situation. I am also glad to be here today because I was able to express the real me, the real Nicholas from yours. So thank you very much. I'm glad you can, you can still remember me. How long has it been? Seventeen years? Yeah, you still look as handsome as ever. And you're still pretty as ever. What brings you here? Are you here for an interview? Actually, you're the reason why I came here. It's because I wanted to talk to you about something. About what? It's about Sebastian. Oh, what about him? That night, when Sebastian died, I was the one who leaked your photos and sent it to his father. You what? Do you realize how much pain and suffering you put us into just by sending those photos? That was, that was the reason why he died. I know, that's why I'm apologizing. I know my apology can bring Sebastian back, but for the last 17 years, my conscience won't let me speak, knowing that I am one of the reasons why the man I love died. You should have told me earlier. Maybe I could... My God! Just why, Z? Why? I was jealous, okay? I thought if I will be able to break you two apart, Sebastian would be mine. I didn't want him to die. That wasn't the plan. Well... Your plan is stupid. Maybe Sebastian would have been alive if you didn't leak those photos. Hindi ko naman ang pumasok sa otak mo at nagawa mo yun. Please forgive me, Nicholas. I'm begging you. I only did it because I love him so much and I can't bear watching you two being so happy while I'm slowly tearing myself apart. I know that you love Sebastian too. And people blinded by love will do stupid things just to get the love they want. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, oh, it's nothing. I'm just so Old friend, you can go to the car now. Okay, I already told you. I won't let anyone get on my way. Nice talking to you. I'll turn, I'll turn your mirror.